Steady. Steady. As any fire builder knows, the key to a great fire is kindling. There are many ways to split kindling, and most of them are pretty annoying. Some of them are downright dangerous. You can, of course, hold it and try to split it. Don't do that. That's how you end up with something like this. Uh, you can try to balance it and split it like that, which is really aggravating and difficult. Some people prefer to lay it down and split it flat. That can still work, but you have to have a fair amount of accuracy to get good small pieces. I'm going to show you my favorite way to split kindling, however. May I present to you the kindling cracker. Now, there are many products like this on the market. This one is called the kindling cracker, and let me show you how it works. Basically, you have a blade right here, like a wedge, and there's a ring around it. You put a piece of firewood in here, sets pretty easily, and then you can use a hammer or the end of an ax Just like that, you can split smaller and smaller pieces. See how it just sets right on there? I'm not in the best position to hit this, but just get small pieces. easy as that. So the primary benefit of this is the species that you can split into very fine pieces. Um, so with most kindling you're using cedar or spruce and those split very easily with pretty much any method, especially cedar. All you really have to do is whisper to it about what an axe is and it'll split in half for you. Not so with sugar maple. Um, now the problem with that situation is that cedar and spruce and those easily splittable species, they're not producing a lot of heat. And what you need to have a fire is heat, fuel, and oxygen. It's pretty easy to get the fuel and the oxygen. When you're building a fire, what you really need is heat. And cedar and spruce don't really produce that. Unfortunately, high heat species like sugar maple and beech and any of the other denser hardwoods, uh, they're hard to ignite when cold. Um, so how you build a fire and the purpose of kindling is you get that heat built up and eventually you can put on pieces of maple. But if you're able to split maple to that size right there, you can get that fire started a lot sooner. You can have a better fire uh, a lot more quickly. And it's hard to get pieces of maple like this with other methods of splitting. So, you know, this is probably otherwise what you'd be able to split the size of maple to. But all I have to do, get that on there. Whoops. Hit a piece out. just like that. About half that size and I can split those two in half as well and get super small pieces. Really easy to great to excuse me really easy to build a great fire that way. Now like I said there are many methods of splitting kindling. Um, they have those little drill bits people use. You can lay it on its side, you can stand it up on the log, you can do it however you want. However uh, spending my entire life building fires this is by far the best method that I've come across. And uh, unfortunately, it is a little bit of an investment up front. These are, I believe, about $90. There are versions of them that are cheaper. Uh, what the Kindling Cracker has that's unique about it, though, is it has this ring around the top. And what that does is when you're hitting the wood down, it protects the blade from being smacked by the hammer, which, of course, is going to dull it down, require more maintenance over time. And also, it's a bit of a safety feature um, for your hands, perhaps or the handle of your hammer or axe, prevent that from uh, getting nicked pretty bad and damaging the tool. Um, so especially if you have a family with you know, kids or people who maybe aren't the most adept at using these pieces of equipment, it's really nice to have that safety feature. And personally, I'm in a family where, well, let's just say I like having this ring here. In either case, I'll put a link to both of these down in the description, uh, both to the Kindling Cracker and the cheaper model without the ring. Um, and you can decide which, which works best for you. But if you do any degree of fire building, whether it's in a, um, a wood stove or you do a lot of campfires in the summer, I highly recommend you get one of these. It will make your life so much easier. Until next time.